We all have the obligatory files that we'd like to keep private, but how confident are you in your security? This week I'll show you how to protect those extremely private files. When it comes to sensitive information, there's always a fear that it will fall into the wrong hands. You want to protect it. Well, for digital information, the best protection tool is also free. It's called TrueCrypt and you can find it here. It's open source and it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So what does it do? Let's look at it in terms of physical security at a house. Most people rely on their computer's login password as their main means of security. This is equivalent to the lock on the front door of a house. While it's good for the first line of defense, it's not resistant to back doors or brute force. Those that have sensitive information generally keep it in a safe inside their house. This is equivalent to encrypting the files on your computer. That way, even if someone broke in, there's still another line of security keeping your data safe. But what if someone found a way to break into that? Then they'd have access to all your valuables. Unless, of course, that safe had a hidden compartment that not even the thieves could guess was there. Replicating this scenario on a computer is where TrueCrypt comes into play. You can use TrueCrypt to make a strong encrypted password protected folder, but you can also use it to make a hidden volume inside that folder so that only those that know it exists will know that it's there. Here's how to make it. Open it up and click Create Volume. This opens up the creation wizard. Choose the option that best suits you. Since I'll be saving my files to a USB drive, I'm going to choose the second option. On the next screen, choose hidden TrueCrypt volume. If you just wanted a regular encrypted folder, leave it on the standard option. And then leave the next option on normal mode. After that, choose the drive that you want to store your encrypted files on. After clicking next, we'll first start creating the outer volume, or the safe. Choose an encryption algorithm to encrypt your files, and if you don't know what that means, just leave it as its default. If you're installing this on a hard drive, you can choose the size for your folder, and then just enter in a main password. Select how you want to format it, and then start moving your cursor around the window really fast and randomly. This helps set a completely random key for your encryption. Then click Format. Alright, that takes care of the outer volume. Now for the hidden volume. Choose an encryption type again. Choose the size you want to make it, which has to be smaller than the size that you chose for the outer volume. And then create another password. Select the format type again, and then generate a random key. And then again click Format. Alright, here's how this works. Open up TrueCrypt, click Select File, and choose the file that you created for encryption and then click mount and enter in your first password that you created. This will mount your files to the virtual drive of the letter that you selected. In my case, drive O. So here you can put all of your mostly private files. But if you dismount this drive and mount it again using your second password that you created, here you can put all of your very private information. Because if anyone steals this folder and extorts you for your password, you can give them the first password. It'll work and they'll have access to the files, but they'll have no idea that there's a hidden compartment for the other files. This is a great way to protect your private files. And if you have any more tips, feel free to leave them in the comments below. For more weekend projects, go to Tinkernut.com. And until next time, hack some fun into your weekend.